Welcome to the Maximize Business Value Podcast. This podcast is brought to you by Mastery Partners, where our mission is to equip business owners to maximize business value so they can transition their business on their terms. Our mission was born from the lessons we've learned from over 100 business transactions, which fuels our desire to share our experiences and wisdom so you can succeed. Now here's your host, CEO of Mastery Partners, Tom Bronson. Hi, and welcome back to Maximize Business Value Podcast. I'm your host, Tom Bronson. In today's episode, we're diving into yet another chapter from my book, The Maximize Business Value Playbook, but this time with a little twist. We're switching up our format to bring you high quality audio directly from the audible recordings for the remaining chapters. Yes, you can find this book right on Audible. Whether you're tuning in on your morning jog, during your commute, or as you wind down your day, I'm here to help you unlock ways to maximize your business's value. So let's get started and delve into today's chapter. Number 59. Hire a financial advisor or wealth management firm. Many business owners think that they don't need a financial advisor or a wealth management firm. The thinking is that most of their wealth is tied up in the business, an illiquid asset. Well, that thinking is limited. To those business owners, I say perhaps you should understand what a financial advisor does. Certainly, they would like to manage the owner's assets. And they would also provide a crucial service to help business owners know exactly how much money they need for their lifestyle for the length of their life expectancy. In addition, hiring a wealth manager and getting a solid financial plan is necessary and helpful to any business owner. It will help in determining the needed value of the business when the eventual transition comes and all businesses, you've heard this before, will eventually transition. At the risk of being a little confusing, generally speaking, financial advisors and wealth managers fill largely the same role. In a broad sense, a financial advisor provides a wide array of services to satisfy most client needs and typically has a broader range of clientele compared to a wealth manager. Wealth managers typically work almost exclusively with high net worth clients. They provide many of the same services a financial advisor does in addition to the types of services high net worth clients demand. Those services include wealth preservation, asset protection, generational planning, and wealth transfer vehicles. So many times, I hear that the business owner plans to hire a wealth management firm after they sell their business, but I'm here to tell you that's just too late. A great wealth management firm will not only determine what's needed, but will also provide great advice for tax planning, transaction mechanics, and other important financial considerations. And it's too late to minimize the tax consequences of a business transaction when there's a check in the business owner's hand. Any business owner who doesn't have a financial planner needs one. But please don't leave this to chance because there are thousands of them out there. The most important question to ask a financial advisor or a financial planner is, are you a fiduciary? A fiduciary is a person or organization that is required by law to act on behalf of their clients, putting their clients' interests ahead of their own, with a duty to preserve good faith and trust. Being a fiduciary requires being bound both legally and ethically to act in their clients' best interest, and that sounds great to me. My MBV actions? Hire a wealth management firm to review your financial strategies and help make sure the tools are in place to grow your wealth? Number two, if you have a financial advisor, have them update your financial plan annually. And number three, if you don't have one and don't know where to start, connect with me. I'll be happy to share my list of trusted advisors who act as fiduciaries. 
interview two or three and pick one. You will thank me later. Email me at tom at mastery partners if you'd like more information. Well, thanks for joining me for another episode of the Maximize Business Value podcast. I hope today's chapter sparks some new ideas on how you can continue to drive value in your business. Remember, it's not just about listening and learning, it's about taking action. So visit our website for lots more free resources, grab your Maximize Business Value playbook, uh, and all of my other releases on Amazon and now on Audible via the links below. And don't hesitate to reach out if you want to discuss how you can apply these concepts in your business. I'm anxious to talk to you. Until next time, I'm Tom Bronson reminding you to relentlessly execute every day and do it while you maximize business value. Thank you for tuning into the Maximize Business Value podcast with Tom Bronson. This podcast is brought to you by Mastery Partners, where our mission is to equip business owners to maximize business value so they can transition on their terms. Learn more on how to build long-term sustainable business value and get free value building tools by visiting our website, www.masterypartners.com. That's master with a Y, masterypartners.com. Check it out. That was perfect. I wouldn't make any changes on that.